OK, so now let's look at the second two, uh, problems here. Uh, so let's start with this one. So, again, we have this plus 1 being added to this larger term. And so we can start by subtracting 1 from both sides, and I get 1 over x minus 2 equals 3. Now, if you remember, when we had 1 over x equals a number, we multiplied both sides by x so that this would all reduce down to 1. So to solve this one, what do you think we're going to do? We're going to multiply both sides of the equation by x minus 2 because now this side becomes x minus 2 over x minus 2. This side, let's go ahead and distribute here, becomes 3x minus 6. And x minus 2 over x minus 2 is just 1. And now I have, again, a nice linear equation that I can solve. So I'll go ahead and add 6 to both sides. And that will give me 7 equals 3x, divide by 3, x equals 7 thirds. OK, so we end up with a solution of x equals 7 thirds here. Uh, for this rational equation. OK, so let's try this one now. So we'll go ahead and subtract 1 from both sides. You're probably seeing that pattern by now. And we have x minus 2 squared equals 3. So now this one is going to turn out being a little bit uglier than I was expecting, but that is OK, we will manage. Uh, so now I need to get rid of this square. So to get rid of the square, I can take a square root. Keeping in mind that uh, this thing could have been positive or negative, right? So the square root of the square undoes itself, and we end up with x minus 2. Uh, but x minus 2 could either be square root of 3 or x minus 2 could be the negative square root of 3, right? Because if it was the negative square root of 3 and we squared it, we would still get 3 because when you square a negative, it becomes positive. Now, you might be saying, David, what's with this square root of 3 thing here? But uh, we just don't know what the square root of 3 is, so we just write square root of 3, and it's not a big deal. We just leave it like that. So now, to finish solving for x, we need to get x by itself. So we're going to add 2 to both sides of the equation in both of these cases. So I'm going to get x equals the square root of 3 plus 2. Notice that this plus 2 is not inside the square root. It is outside the square root. And over here, x is negative root 3 plus 2. Again, the plus 2 is outside the square root. And there's our two solutions to that equation.